Hi everyone, this is Jenny from By Jenny Designs, and today I have a fun new pattern to share with you. I'm going to be showing you how to make this cute little pizza guy here. I have two made up, one as an ornament, and then this one I left off the eyes and stuff and added a baby rattle insert. Okay, so the supplies you're going to need for this pattern are a nice big handful of polyfill. And then you're going to need three colors of worsted weight yarn. You need a tan, yellow, and red. Today I am using Caron one pound. You also need a five millimeter crochet hook, scissors, a darning needle, two stitch markers, and then you also need eight millimeter safety eyes. And then you just need a tiny bit of black yarn if you're going to be doing a little face. Okay, so I'm going to move all of this out of the way and then we'll get started. To start this pattern, we're going to use our tan color. Go ahead and make a slip knot. For row one, we're going to chain two, and then we're going to work three single crochet into this first chain that you made here. One, two, and three. That completes row one. So now we're going to chain one and turn. And now we're just going to work one single crochet into each stitch across. Okay, so for row two, you should have three single crochet. Now for row three, chain one and turn. And now we're going to work two single crochet, one single crochet, and two single crochet. So two in the first stitch, and then one in the next stitch, and two in the last stitch. So you should have five single crochet total. Chain one and turn. For row four, we're just going to single crochet across. So you should have five single crochet again for this row. For row five, chain one and turn. Now we're going to work two single crochet in the first stitch, one single crochet in three, and two single crochet in the last stitch. So two here, and then one into the next three. and two single crochet in the last, and that will give you a total of seven for the row. Now chain one and turn. For row six, we're just going to single crochet across. You should have a total of seven single crochet when you get to the end. Now chain one and turn. So now we're going to work two single crochet in the first stitch, one single crochet in the next five, and two single crochet in the last. Now 
and then one, two, three, four, five. So you should have nine single crochet at the end of your row here. Now for row eight, chain one and turn. You're gonna be chaining one and turning at the end of every row. So now we're just going to single crochet across, working one into each stitch. Okay, so you should have a nine. Now we're going to chain one and turn. So now for row nine, we're going to work two single crochet in the first stitch, then one single crochet all the way across until you get to the end and work two single crochet in the last stitch. So two here. And then one all the way across. And then two in your last stitch here. And you should have 11 single crochet, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. Now chain 1 and turn. Now you're going to work 1 single crochet into each stitch across. Okay, so you should still have 11 single crochet. Now for row 11, we're going to chain one and turn. We're going to work two single crochet in the first stitch, one single crochet in the next nine, and two single crochet in the last stitch. So there's our two. And now two in the last. So you should now have 13 single crochet across. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13. Chain one and turn. For row 12, we are just going to single crochet across, just working one to each stitch. And you should still have 13 single crochet. Now for row 13, this is where we're going to be placing a couple stitch markers. So we're going to chain one, turn, 
And we're going to single crochet across and then we'll place our stitch markers. So just work one single crochet across. So you should still have 13. And now just, you can remove your hook if you'd like. We're just gonna place a stitch marker in the last stitch here and a stitch marker in the first stitch of this row. And then we're gonna be using these later on. So just place it right there under the stitch. When you place this one, make sure it's under here because you still need to work on the top here for row 14. Okay, so now for row 14, chain one and turn. And then we're just going to single crochet across, working one into each stitch. Okay, so you should still have 13. And now for our last row of tan, we're gonna chain one and turn, and you're just going to work one single crochet into each stitch across. So your stitch count is still 13, but now we are going to fasten off our tan. So that just means to yarn over and pull through. And let me grab my scissors. And you can just cut this like so. And then we're going to grab our red yarn. Okay, when you have your red yarn, go ahead and make your slip knot. Place it on your hook. And then we're going to turn our piece over. And you can crochet over your end here. We're just going to insert our hook into this first open stitch. Yarn over. Pull through the loop on your hook, chain one, and then single crochet into that same stitch, and just work one single crochet into each stitch across. Oh, and I'm holding my end here so that I can crochet over it. Okay, 
Okay, just got one more. And now we are going to fasten off with our red. So yarn over, fold through. Okay, now we're going to join our yellow yarn. Okay, make a slip knot with your yellow. Insert your hook. Turn your piece over so you can crochet over this end here. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to insert our hook into the first open stitch, yarn over, pull through the loop on your hook, chain one, and then single crochet into that same stitch and work your way across making one single crochet in each stitch. And then you can drop your end wherever you like, really. So this would be row 17. Your first row with yellow is 17. So at the end of row 17, you should have 13 single crochet. And I'll just double check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13. So chain one and turn for row 18. And now we're going to start decreasing. So we're going to work a single crochet two together in these first two stitches. So in case you don't know how to do that, I'll go ahead and try to show you here. So you're going to begin by inserting your hook into the first stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. Now you have two on your hook. Then you're going to insert your hook into the second stitch, yarn over and pull through a loop. So see, now you have three. Then you're just going to yarn over and pull through all three. And that's a single crochet two together. I'll show you one more time when we get to the end here. So now we're going to work one single crochet into each of these until you have two left. So that would be nine, two, four, six, eight, nine. Yeah. So single crochet into the next nine. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. And nine. Okay, now we have two stitches here, and we're going to work a single crochet two together again. So to do that, insert your hook into the first stitch, yarn over and pull through a loop. Insert your hook into the second stitch, yarn over and pull through a loop. Now you have three on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. So now you should have 11 single crochet across. Your single crochet two together counts as one single crochet. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 11. Okay, for row 19, we're gonna chain one and turn. And now we're just going to work one single crochet into each stitch across.
Okay, so you should have 11 single crochet. Now for row 20, we're going to chain one and turn. We're going to work a single crochet two together in our first two stitches here. Then we're going to single crochet into the next seven and then work a single crochet two together at the end. So first stitch, second stitch, pull through three, then single crochet in seven. After you've single crocheted in seven, work your single crochet two together. And then you should have nine single crochet for your stitch count. Chain one and turn for row 21. And now we're just going to single crochet into each stitch across. And you should have nine again for this row. Now for row 22, chain one and turn. We're going to work single crochet two together, single crochet in five, and then single crochet two together. So first, two together, then single crochet in five. Then single crochet two together and your stitch count should be seven. Chain one and turn for row 23 and now you're just going to single crochet into each across And you'll end up with seven single crochet again. Now for row 24, chain one and turn. Now we're going to single crochet two together, single crochet in three, and then single crochet two together. So that will give you a stitch count of five. Now for row 25, chain one and turn. Work one single crochet into each stitch across. Okay, so you should have five again. Now chain one and turn for row 26. Single crochet two together. Single crochet in one. And then single crochet two together. And that will give you three. And now for row 27, this is your final row chain one and turn and now we're going to work a single crochet three together to do that we're going to first insert our hook into the first stitch yarn over and pull through a loop insert into the second stitch yarn over and pull up a loop and then we're going to insert our hook into the third stitch yarn over pull through a loop now you have four loops on your hook 
So you're just going to yarn over and pull through all four. And there we have our single crochet three together. And now you can go ahead and fasten off. So yarn over and then pull through. You can trim with your scissors. And there we have the base of our pizza slice here. And now we're going to start working with our stitch markers here that we placed. So let me grab the tan yarn. Okay, when you have your tan yarn, go ahead and start with your slip knot. Place it on the hook. Then we're going to go here to our stitch marker and we're just going to insert our hook into the same place the stitch marker is. You could also take out your stitch marker first if you can remember where the place was. So go ahead and just join with a slip stitch and then chain one. And you can remove your stitch marker if you didn't already. And now we're just going to be single crocheting along the side here. You're basically just working one single crochet into the end of each row that you already created. Okay, so before you get to the tip, go ahead and we're going to be working a single crochet two together, two of them in a row actually, and the second one is going to start in the same space that the first one ends, so I'm going to show you exactly how to do that, but I just want to give you a quick count on these, two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. So now as you can see, I have a space right here and then a space here at the tip. So I'm going to start my single crochet two together right here, yarn over and pull through. And now I'm going to insert into the tip, yarn over, pull through all three. And now I'm going to work a second single crochet two together. But I'm going to start it in the same stitch that I'm already in. So insert into the same space here, pull through, and then you're going to turn your piece to work along the next edge and work the second part of your single crochet two together. Yarn over, pull through three. And this just helps the sides stand up eventually here. And now you're just going to work your way to the next stitch marker. And you should be able to get about 11 single crochet like we did on this side. But if you're off by one or two, that's fine. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and then 
here's my 11th. So in total, you should have about 24 single crochet around. And now we're going to fasten off, leave a long end because we're going to use this to sew. And then pull through here. There we go. So as you can see, you got this little lip here. These are, this is going to fold up to make the crust. And then your cheese is just going to fold over and we're gonna be sewing along these two sides here. Okay, so before we start sewing those two sides though, we're gonna to wanna to sew in all of these ends and then we're going to make our pepperonis, attach them, add the eyes and smile if you'd like, and then we'll sew these sides shut here. Okay, so first I'll show you how to sew in one of these ends, and then I'll sew the rest off camera. So just grab your needle and thread it with one of your ends. And then this end has already been crocheted over once. So I'm just going to work it under this row here. You're just going to put your hook under the row And then pull your yarn through. And then you're going to go back in the other direction. And it's up to you. You can go back and forth two or three times. I'm only going to do it two since it was already crocheted over here. Oh, I need my pliers. This makes things so much easier. All right, and after you've done that, you can just go ahead and cut it nice and short. So go ahead and do that with all of your ends except this really long tan one, okay? So sew in all your ends, and then I'll meet back up with you here. I have all my ends sewn in, except for this long one here. So we're going to just put that to the side while we make our pepperonis. So I have two different pepperonis here. The first one will be our whole pepperoni. And to make that, you just need to make a magic circle. So first, start by placing your thumb over your yarn. Your working yarn is to the left, your end is to the right. Wrap the end around your thumb and place it behind the working yarn. Just hold it there. Grab your hook, insert it into the hole here, and then go around and grab your working yarn, pull through, yarn over, to chain one. Okay, so now for our full-size pepperoni, we're just going to work eight half double crochet into the circle. So go ahead with that. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, and eight. 
Now you just need to pull your circle tight. And then you're going to join with a slip stitch to the very first half double crochet you made. And then just fasten off, leaving a long enough end to sew onto your pizza slice. Okay, so that is how we work up the full-size pepperonis. And then for the half-size, we're going to start the same way with a magic circle. Place your thumb on the yarn, wrap around the back of the working yarn, insert your hook into the hole, and then yarn over and pull through a loop of the working yarn. Chain one. And now for our half size pepperonis, we're just going to work five half double crochet. Okay, so then you're going to yarn over and fasten off. Leave your end long enough for sewing. Pull your circle tight here. And you get this nice half circle shape. Okay, I think I'm going to make one more of the half circle pepperoni because I'm going to be putting a face on this little pizza slice. So I'm going to make one more and then I'll come right back to show you what to do next. Now I have all of my pepperonis made. Before you start sewing them on, you're just going to want to use the beginning to your magic circle here. Go ahead and thread it onto your needle and secure the center of the pepperoni. I'll show you really quick what I mean. So we're just going to, it's just like when you're sewing in your ends, go under the row here. So I went this way once, now I'm going to go back this way and then come back again and that will be nice and secure. So when I was off camera, I already did the centers of these two. And I actually, I don't cut this off because this helps when you're securing it to the pizza. If you're going to be doing the eyes, you might want to place your eyes into the spaces that you want them, but don't secure the eyes in yet. So if you're going to add eyes, you should add them between rows 22 and 21. The last row here is 27, so 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22. And in my original example, I had the eyes set kind of far apart. 
with a small smile in the middle like this. So I just like to set those in before I decide where I'm going to sew on the pepperonis. So I'm thinking I'm going to put maybe the big pepperoni to the side here. And then I'll probably put a half down here. And maybe the other half up here. So now that I know where I want to place all my pepperonis, I'm going to set two of them aside and then I will start sewing this one down. Go ahead and thread your yarn. And then place your pepperoni where you'd like it. And then I just use this centerpiece to kind of help tack it down. Gosh, there we go. So then I'm going to use this end here to sew around the pepperoni, but then I'll pull it back through at the end and I can tie the two ends together. So I'm going to take the eyes out for now. And then you're just going to go ahead and sew around the entire edge of your pepperoni. Working through the cheese and the pepperoni. Almost all the way around. Okay, <clears throat> so this will be my last little stitch here. And then I just flip it over here. Tie a double knot with the two ends. And then you can go ahead and hide your ends underneath a row here within our cheese. So go ahead and do that and sew on your remaining pepperonis. And after you're done sewing on your pepperonis, come back here and I'll show you what we'll be doing next. I have all my pepperonis sewn on. And now I'm going to place the eyes. The eyes should be placed in between 
what would be row 22 and 21. So I'm just going to count over from the side here. There will be about two single crochet on the side. You just want to make sure you leave two on the side when you place the other eye. So about there. Okay, so then grab the back of your safety eyes and go ahead and secure your eyes down. jumped off. Alright, those are nice and secure. Okay, and now you just need to take some black yarn you have over here. Thread it onto your needle. And then you just need to sew on a little tiny smile here. I'm going to make the bottom center part of the smile first. the yarn here. So there's the bottom of the smile. We'll come to the side here. Then what I'm going to do is actually thread the other side, the other end here, so that I can go back and do the other side of the smile. And there you have it. Happy little pizza guy. Okay, so now what we need to do next is we're going to knot these two pieces together here two times. And then we're just going to sew in these two ends really quick. I like to sew the ends in underneath the pepperoni so that you don't see it through the yellow stitches here. So I'm just going to work my yarn over there.
also our other end in here. Okay, so now all we have left to do is to sew our sides together, stuff the pizza, and then if you'd like a little hanger, if you're planning on putting this on a Christmas tree or anywhere else you want to hang it from, I will show you how to make a little hanger. So to begin sewing the sides together, first go ahead and thread your tan yarn. And then we're just going to fold the cheese down. And if it helps you, you can go ahead and use a stitch marker, put it through the point of the cheese here, and then this point should be sewn to these two that were, um, these were both single crochet two together. We should be sewing that to the center of those two when we get to it. So this will just help guide you as you're sewing. And we won't be stuffing until we've made it all the way to about here. Okay, to start sewing our side here, first you can see where this is going to fold up like this. We need to make sure there's no holes in our piece. So we're going to start by sewing shut the crust here. So I'm just going through the top every time. So you go through the cheese and you just want to kind of find like where the end of a row is. And then I'm just working myself under a stitch here like this on the crust. And I'm going to keep doing that. all the way around. So now as you get to the tip here, you can take this out if you used it.
and then just work your way around the corner here. Oops, sorry if I went off camera there for a second. I was trying to look at it closer. Almost to the point where we want to start stuffing. Just do a couple more stitches here. Oh, okay. We just had a little mishap there with the tripod, but I'm back. Okay, so now that I've gotten this far, I'm going to start stuffing. And you want to make sure you're sticking it into the corners really good. So I have some polyfill here. I'll start by putting it in the corner. Once you have it mostly filled, you're going to want to start sewing again. And then when you're at the very end, you can poke a little bit more in there before you sew it shut. Okay. So now I'm going to continue sewing. You can see I have a little bit more room in there. stitch here before I fill again. Okay. So now when you just have a couple more stitches, but you can still get your finger in there, go ahead and finish filling it.
Okay, that should be good. Okay, now we just got to finish sewing here. And you can see I kind of use my finger as much as I can to hold that polyfill in while I sew because otherwise this yarn will end up pulling it out. So there we go, he's all sewn shut. There he is. I'm just going to sew this end and then I'll show you how to crochet a hanger. Okay, so to add a hanger, if you don't want him as just a little guy, you're going to need to grab whatever color yarn you want to use for your hanger. I have some red here. So you just need to make your slip knot. And then just find about the center up here, right in the middle. You're just going to insert your hook where you think the middle is. And then you're going to basically slip stitch to join onto here. So yarn over and pull through, and then pull through the loop you had on the hook. And now you just need to chain about 18 to 20. So one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Eighteen seems to be a pretty good size for a Christmas tree hanger. So then you just go back down here where you joined your new color of yarn and just work another slip stitch into the same space you used. So yarn over and then pull through the loop on your hook and then yarn over to fasten off. And that's it for your hanger. Now you just need to sew in these two ends and then he's done. I will go ahead and sew these in really quick. So I like to sew these into the actual hanger piece.
to do that I just weave it in and out like so and then go back down I will go ahead and do the other side and then I will be right back. There he is with all the ends sewn in. This is our happy little pizza guy. And then here's another one I made. This one I put a little baby rattle insert because I thought this would be a fun little thing for my little niece to play with. Also, there we have it. Thank you everybody for crocheting along with me and I hope I will see you again very soon.